So for our next session, we're going to be painting in the vase and the table. After you get your minimum of three flowers printed inside of your vase. So um, I would suggest you use one of the quarter inch easel brushes. If you want to get a little larger and use the half inch, that's fine. But um, I want you to be able to do some patterns on your vase and on the table. So number one, you're going to need a palette and a palette paper, a little bitty water cup to um, clean out your brush when you need to, a full cup of clean water and an empty cup for your dirty water. Then start with two colors. I don't care which ones, but I want them to be analogous. Can you remember what analogous means? Right, that means they're next to each other on the color wheel. So if I start with my purple, um, I can either choose then red or blue. Um, I'm going to choose red. Um, so those are my two analogous colors. And then I'm going to add some white in so we can get some monochromatic um, going on. So we have a little bit of ability to change the tint um, or shade of our color. I'll also put just a hair of black on here for if I want to change it to a shade or not. So we're making monochromatic colors, but you, you're going to use more than one color. We're using analogous colors now. Right. So um, in the grand scheme of things here, we'll just start painting. Um, and I'm going to make my, my um, vase light purple. So I'm going to take some purple and add white to it so I can get a light purple. Okay, so here's my light purple. And I'm going to paint my vase in purple. Remember when you're painting with your brush, you're always holding it in a good brush control position, kind of like um, you would hold a pencil. Okay, and you're always pulling your brush, never pushing it, never smashing it down, always painting with it so that you have good control of your brush. Okay, and you can see that I'm kind of painting the outside of my vase here, um, kind of controlling the paint as I go, um, mixing a little bit on my palette so I'm getting nice mixed colors. Okay. Um, so Mr. Longren, you can fast forward until the pattern part. Okay, so now I'm to the point where I want to start making um, some pattern on my vase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, some red. I'm just going to put some little polka dots onto my vase. So I've got a little polka dot pattern. Now is it going to be a pattern like an AB pattern? Not exactly. It's just going to be a polka dot pattern, meaning I've got the polka dots kind of standing out against a purple background. Okay, it's not going to be like everything in a row or everything lined up nicely. Um, it's just going to be a polka dot pattern. Okay, um, so I'm going to finish this. Our main goals for this um, vase and table part are to use um, monochromatic colors, you know, and be able to change the tint or shade of our colors and uh, to make it look pleasing. We're only going to paint the vase and the table. I don't want you to paint this area up here behind the flowers because you can't paint inside the flowers. You can't paint around them. It'd be really difficult to get that to look nice. Um, so we're just going to paint the vase 
and the table that the vase is sitting on. So there's my polka dotted vase. Um, and now I'm going to go back um, and I'm going to get uh, some white and uh, some red and mix some pink. Okay, and remember pink is red plus white. All right, but uh, not magenta, like the color that comes out of the tube, but it's red plus white. I'm going to paint my, my tabletop this pinkish color. Notice how I'm pulling my brush one way and then flipping it over and pulling it the other way. So I'm kind of getting paint off both sides of my brush. Okay, so there's my very basic table um, with my vase, my polka dotted vase on top. All right, and um, now I'm just going to take some red, just pure red, and I'm going to kind of make some diagonals like it's the tablecloth. And notice for this, I hold my brush straight up and down so I can get a nice thin line, and I barely push down, I just kind of drag my brush across the paint and I barely push down at all. Notice I do overlapping there. All right, so there's my table with a very simple just line pattern. So when you're done, you should have your flowers, at least three printed flowers. You should have a vase painted with some kind of pattern on it, and then at the table with one color and some kind of pattern on that. When you're done, Wash out your brushes really, really good so that they're clean and no more paint is on the ferrule or in the bristles. Okay, so there's a clean brush, no paint on the bristle or on the ferrule here or on the bristles up there. And then um, clean up all of your supplies and put your painting in the drying rack.